my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a chatty video and if you read the title then you know exactly what this video is about. This is my second pregnancy and I'm really excited to share everything that comes with having a second pregnancy. I had my son two years ago. He'll be two this, uh, this month. It's February. He'll be two on the 20th. So I'm really excited to be going down this journey again and sharing everything with you guys. I am currently 14 weeks pregnant today and I would love to share with you what the gender is. I actually got to surprise my husband. I found out before he did and he loves surprises so he wanted to be surprised. I'll go ahead and show you his reaction here. I think it's wrapped it, so I mean it's kind of wrapped it, but what do you think it is? You know. I already know what it is. What? Baby, I already know. I'm not gonna prove to you anything because you don't even know. Okay. Alright. But I had a guess. Hmm. Purely a guess. I mean it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But a really a guess is a girl. Okay. What do you mean I don't know? I know. Oh do you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this a little girl? <laughs> is it a little girl? Is this is for real? I don't know. I don't know. Is that, I guess it's a girl, right? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that is so good. Mm. So yes, we're having a little girl, and truly, I am super, super excited. It is what we both hoped for. We we just are so excited to be able to experience both genders, and I'm really excited to pick out little girl's clothing and all the things that come with having a little girl. I'm going to enjoy every single second of being a mother to both of my children and I'm just so excited to be able to be on this journey. I feel so grateful. So when I was pregnant last time and this time as well, I became super interested in other pregnant women and what they were going through, their experiences, and I just want to share that. So I am now officially in my second trimester and I experienced just like with my first pregnancy a ton of morning sickness and with Miles I was sick the entire day, all nine months of being pregnant. And this time I'm feeling a little bit better now that I have gotten into my second trimester. I was super sick the first and I still am very nauseous first thing in the morning, but it kind of subsides after I have breakfast. And as long as I keep eating small meals throughout the day, I'm usually fine. Um, I did have gestational diabetes with my son, so I'm definitely aware of all of that and everything that comes with it. I'm trying to eat very balanced. I always make sure I have a good fat, healthy fat and really good healthy protein with all of my meals and that I keep my carbohydrates to a minimum. Those are key things to having gestational diabetes. And even if I don't have gestational diabetes with this pregnancy, I still think it's really important to eat healthy. As far as working out, I worked out a ton with my son and um, I did CrossFit before I was pregnant and I did CrossFit throughout my pregnancy. This time is a little different because I have a toddler and I'm busy and if you've been watching my videos and following me on Instagram then you know that we are trying to sell our home and so that comes with a slew of projects and things that have kept me busy. So working out has definitely kind of been on the back burner. I try to get something in maybe two or three times a week but it is definitely not on the scale that it was during my first pregnancy and I'm really fine with that. I'm enjoying so much being a mother and all of the projects that I have going on that I'm like, I have plenty of time to work out as long as I move my body throughout the day and as long as I try to get a couple in a week, it's fine. So I had a C-section with Miles and I'm really, really hoping to have a VBAC. That is a vaginal birth after cesarean. It is a it is probably on my highest list of things that I'm thinking about right now. So being active, having a healthy diet, and just a healthy outlook, positive mindset are all things that I think go along with that. On top of finding a good provider, um, I did not have a VBAC supportive provider during my last pregnancy. I know that because she immediately after I had my C-section was talking about my next C-section. Um, so I decided to change providers. I'm going to a new facility and I'm seeing a new doctor and I also have midwives at this practice. So that's a really exciting thing. I am definitely going to 
um, have the same doula that I had last time. If you don't know what a doula is, you should look it up. Doulas are amazing. I loved my doula. Even though I ended in a C-section, she was so supportive and so helpful to me and my husband. And already during this pregnancy, she has been such a great resource for me. So I absolutely love her. And I've been kind of like recapping, you know, going through some of my paperwork that I have from my birthing class that I took during my first pregnancy just to kind of refresh my mind because a lot of things that I've, I learned in that class I've put out of my mind. I haven't had to think about it. So it's stuff I've been trying to like freshen up on and I highly suggest as well if this is if you're pregnant now and it's your first pregnancy you should definitely take a birthing class just to teach you about interventions, to teach you about what labor feels like and looks like and the signs that you should be looking for when you do go into labor, all of those things. It's just so good to have that education and foundation. I think there's a lot of women that go into their pregnancy and just, and towards the end of it and throughout, they just listen to their providers. And then I think afterwards, a lot of times you realize you could have had a different outcome and there's a lot of birth trauma, that's very common. Some women have an amazing birth and I'm so glad that some women have that and they don't have to seek out any special advice or see a certain doctor and it just goes really smoothly for them. But I would say that most of the women that I know and most of the women that I've talked to have had some sort of complication or trauma with their birth if they already have children. And that's something that's really important to me to avoid during this pregnancy. I feel like my last pregnancy and my last birth, I did as much as I could and I still didn't cover all the bases and I still had a lot to learn. And I was able to look back on my birth and see everything a lot more crystal clear, obviously in hindsight. And so there's some things I wanna do differently this time. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of like re-educating myself and really hoping for a vaginal birth. The reason that I'm avoiding having a repeat C-section is because having repeat C-sections comes with a higher risk. Each C-section that you have, you have a higher risk of having complications during and after your C-section. So that's something I really like to avoid. And then also the recovery is just really intense on a C-section and I know what that's like. I had it with Miles and it, it, my husband was here to help me and it was really wonderful. It was an ideal situation for the situation, but I'm going to have a toddler this time. So I can't just lay around in bed and have my husband bring me meals and just like nurse my baby. I can't do that. I need to be up and moving if possible so that I can take care of both of my children. So ideally I will have a spontaneous labor. I'll go into labor on my own, hopefully before 41 weeks because they could have me have a re repeat C-section at that point. And then I will have a, hopefully a really smooth labor and delivery vaginally with my doula by my side. That is the ideal situation. Obviously there are a lot of factors that could come into play. I could not go into labor um, and I could have to opt for a repeat C-section. So if you are pregnant now and is your second pregnancy, please leave a comment below. I want to know what your labor was like last time your birth and how you're hoping that this pregnancy and birth differs from that if at all I mean hopefully there's a lot of you who are pregnant for your second time and you had a good delivery and birth the first time and you're hoping for the same outcome I hope that for you and also if you're a first-time mom who is pregnant right now um, I also want to hear from you please leave a comment below let me know how many weeks pregnant you are and let me know how you're feeling right now I love being able to talk to other pregnant women. I have several friends who are pregnant right now and it's so exciting to be able to share that with them. My best friend is actually pregnant right now and even though she lives in Florida, I feel super excited for her because I know the chapter that she's going to enter in her life once she has her baby and it is, for me, has been the sweetest chapter of my life. Meeting my husband obviously kind of kickstarted that. I. My life really turned around when I met him. I, I did not have a uh, picture perfect life before that, let's just say that. And meeting him has just been the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. And then having a child with him and being able to share all of the wonders of that is just the best. So I can't wait for her to experience it for herself and share that with her. 
Um, so yeah, I just, I love, I have a couple other friends who are pregnant right now too, and I just love having conversations with them about how they're feeling and their expectations and names and all of those fun things. So it's just very, very, very exciting. So yeah, right now I'm 14 weeks pregnant and I have a pretty long ways to go until hopefully, you know, the end 40 some weeks, but actually it feels like I have no time. Um, my first pregnancy, I feel like it just kind of dragged by. I was just excited to meet my baby and things that you're excited about. It's like Christmas Eve. Like you can't wait for Santa to come the next morning. Can't wait to open your presents. It felt like that for nine months. I could not wait. And I also just didn't know what to expect. When, you, when you're pregnant for the first time, you don't know what labor and birth is going to be like. You don't know what, you know, breastfeeding is going to be like. Are you going to have to formula feed? Is your baby going to be healthy? Um, what is it going to be like? You know, you're thinking about everything. What kind of car seat do I need? What kind of stroller? The second one is like, oh my God, I have a lot to do before this baby comes. And time is just going by so fast. You know, we're selling our house. We're going to have to move into a new one, which is exciting, but also a little scary for us because we are planning to downsize quite a bit. We're talking about even getting a two bedroom apartment for a little while. We are going to build a house. When I say build a house, I feel like people always think you're gonna, I'm going to build this like massive house. It's a pretty modest house that we're, we're planning to build on some land that we bought. And in the meantime, we're going to live in an apartment possibly. So we're thinking maybe a two bedroom and that means that the baby and my toddler would share a room. And it's just, there's a lot that I'm trying to like plan for and think about. And so time is just going by so fast, so, so, so fast. Um, and right now I'm kind of like in a limbo place with being pregnant. So I'm not like showing that much and like, you know, I'm not feeling super uncomfortable now that morning sickness has sort of subsided a little bit. I'm not having it throughout the day. I'm just having it in the morning. I kind of feel back to normal for the most part. So I can kind of just enjoy this part of the pregnancy and I can focus on moving and all of the things that are going to come with that and just really enjoy the time that I have left with my toddler and just the small day-to-day -day things that come with knowing that he is my only child for just a little while longer. So yes, and we are just so excited to have a little girl. And I wanna take you guys on this journey with me, share with you things as I go along. I'll definitely do a second trimester recap and a third trimester recap. I'll show you guys what I plan to pack in my hospital bag. I did that last time and that will change a lot, I think between last time and this time, especially knowing what I know now. And I will of course do a postpartum update and a birth story update um, because those were things that you guys really enjoyed last time. And also it was really like therapeutic for me to be able to get it all out, get my sort of like birth trauma out. And some of you guys um, were able to really relate to me during that time. So, and I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you who are interested in what's going on in my life. Some of you are older and already had your babies and you still are interested in what I'm doing and still leave me wonderful comments and I so appreciate you. And of course I love those of you who are in the same chapter of life as me because we are able to communicate about things that are happening to us in real time and it's just wonderful to be able to connect with you guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.